Chris White, so I play popcorn. The uh, guy who advises the mining scam to uh, make money. I got started acting on a dare from uh, the football team I played on in high school. <laughs> they dared me to try out for the uh, junior class play, and I did it, and I fell in love with it. What was the play? Uh, the Mikado. What was your first big break as an actor? Mikado. <laughs> there aren't a lot of roles like this that come along for somebody my age, and when they do, they're um, they're usually taken by more established movie actors. I'm I, I, I've been established in television for a number of years, but I have done very few feature films. So when one is offered um, a good role like this, one is silly not to take it. The way I prepare a script is. Um, I read it initially, then I read it again, then I usually have either my wife read it or my best friend read it, and we sit and talk about it. Um, and then I read it again. And from those readings and from the conversation I have either with my wife or my best friend, um, I start to formulate an idea about how my character fits into the whole piece. Because the bottom line is that the whole piece is more important than the individual parts. I, I think that the character um, as written is very intelligent. Whether one gets that from my performance, that's one does. My feeling is that the actor's job is to bring the director as many different choices as he or she can. And the direct, one of the director's jobs is to pick which choice he prefers um, and use that, or if none of the uh, if he prefers none of the choices, to advise the actor about other choices. It was really amazing to work with this group of actors because they were very much into the process. For instance, Bruce Weitz came to me at one point with a suggestion. He showed me a point in the script where he said, you know, I'm gonna be leaving the set on this scene and I won't come back for another 20 pages. How do I keep the spirit of my character alive when I go off stage? Which I felt was really a great observation, something that I had neglected to notice in the screenplay. I think it's a collaborative effort. The brighter the director, um, the more the actors benefit, the more the director knows his material, which Stephen did, um, the more the actors benefit. And if you're not mustering up the right energy, the director is right off camera, usually asking you to. I'm constantly trying to improve my craft. I take acting classes twice a week when I'm not working. I've done that for the past 40 years. I, I just enjoy the process, and it helps me get through the times when I'm not working to go to classes. Uh, I, th I find them invaluable. So you try to grab at and use um, what you have at hand. Some of it may slip in accidentally, some of it may be planned, some of it you, you may give serious thought to, but um, it's, it's a combination of all those things. <laughs> you know, it's such a tough business, and I consider myself very fortunate, because there are a lot of really talented people in this business. Um, it's very, very difficult. And being young, people don't understand the word difficult as much as they do when one gets older. Um, but the advice I can give is be persistent. Be persistent and be committed, because those two things have a way of working out sometimes, not all the time, certainly, and you have to have a little luck. Um, but I, I think you have to be committed and persistent.